you think about the best experiences that you've had with magazines, it's about diving into that story, about the characters leaping off the page, about feeling yourself in the room and being transported, really. And that's what we're trying to do at Wired today. Wired's business is balanced between digital and print media. We have a monthly magazine and we have a digital platform and we're able to move between those two platforms quite seamlessly because it is one group of people working on both. We're organized around subject matter and inside of that beat, it's a range of reporters and writers and editors that assign and create those stories based on what platform they're targeting. The May cover story is a great example where the business team focused on what we call the next list, the list of the 20 people inventing the future. And that team was able to go out and write profiles of them, bring them together in a really compelling way that only a magazine can do. But then those same writers and reporters are also able to take the full extent of their notebook and write out over the course of the month without the space constraints of a print page. We don't have to go and say, what is the best story for the website today? Or what is the best cover story? We can actually think about what's the best story, period. We publish the story when it's the right time to publish that story. And that's really liberating. Last year, Peter Rubin reported in real time in a series of posts, the news events around the Oculus Rift. Traditionally, we would have seen Peter go off for a period where he would report and write that story, and then we would put it in the magazine and publish it. But what Peter did was actually bring those narratives together and then publish in real time. As he went to Los Angeles to talk about the complexities of their new technology, he would actually write a web post about it and publish it. And that might be 2,000, 3,000 words in some cases. He did that a number of times. Typically, those notes and words would be reserved for something that would see the light of day in the magazine. But because we have the digital platform, because we have a community engaging around the topic itself that shapes and influences the very narrative that Peter's working on, that's not something we can do in print. And we're able to see value out of that. We're able to engage an audience over time and establish Peter as the subject matter expert around virtual reality. The fundamental differences between print and digital media really haven't changed. It's just that we've gotten better at publishing in ways that supports the media's strengths. Design has been a really powerful agent in the creation of magazines themselves. The glue between words and photographs and drawings and diagrams, design is that thing that holds all those different narratives together and actually makes them more than the sum of their parts. We're lucky here at Wired that design has played a fundamental role in the shaping of this culture, of its products, of its platforms. Design storytelling is part of who we are. The actual fabric of our society is knit together through stories. The story is the fundamental unit that we focus on. How we deliver it, how we package it, those things can change and they'll adapt. But fundamentally, we're focused on doing the very best work that we can, and I think that's how we win. I think that's how journalism wins.